Chapter 3. Active verb forms. Present simple. Present continuous. Present perfect continuous. Present perfect. Past continuous. Past perfect continuous. Past simple. Past perfect. Future simple. Future continuous. Future perfect. Future perfect continuous. Active verb forms. There are only two ways to make an English sentence or question active or passive. Active verb forms are active when the subject of the sentence is performing the action and not having the action done to it, i.e. I always cook chicken on Fridays. This sentence is in the present simple and it's active because the subject, I, is performing the action to cook chicken on Fridays. In the passive, this sentence would be the following. Chicken is cooked by me on Fridays. The subject in the first sentence, I, is now the object in the second sentence, which is a passive sentence. In the first sentence, I, which is the subject of the sentence, is performing the action which makes it an active sentence. Most sentences and questions in English are usually in the active form. Present simple. Explanation. Construction. Base verb. Example, know, say, tell. For all persons, except third person singular. Verbs with no S in the third person singular include most auxiliary verbs. Can, could, may, must, should, have, etc. And other irregular verbs also. Example. To know. I know. You know. He, she, it knows. We know. You guys know. They know. We use the present simple to talk about states and information that is true in the present moment. We use the present simple to talk about facts. The present simple is used to talk about habits, things that happen habitually. The present simple is used to talk about the future, but only when the future has a fixed date. Saturday, tonight, at 10 o'clock tomorrow, this morning, etc. Context. So, Barry, what do you like to do in your free time? I love to read, travel, watch movies on Netflix, and many more things. What about you, Peter? Well, I'm a huge fan of football. Really? What team do you support? I actually support two teams. Chelsea and Real Madrid. Oh, how is it so that you support one team from Spain and one team from the UK? I'm not sure, to be honest. I just really love both of them. Both teams are giants in the football world, and they each have their own style of play. Interesting to hear. Anyhow, have you got any plans for this weekend? Not yet, although I'm thinking of going to my local bar to see a football match. Do you want to come along? Sure. That would be nice. Thanks for inviting me. Don't mention it. So, what time does the game start? If I remember rightly, the game starts at 6 o'clock. Is that fine for you? Yes, no problem at all. Okay, well, I will see you on Friday then? Sure, see you later. Bye. Analysis 1. So, bearing. Remember, names of people are always capitalized. Two. What do you like to do in your free time? The present simple, like, is used with the auxiliary verb do to ask a question. We use the auxiliary verb do with ordinary verbs in English. In this case, the present simple is expressing a habitual action, free time. Three. I love to read, travel, watch movies on Netflix, and many more things. Here, the present simple, I love, 
is used to express his habits. Travel, watch movies on Netflix. Four. Well, I'm a huge fan of football. The present simple, I'm, I am, is describing information that is true in the present moment, which is the fact that he's a huge fan of football. Five. What team do you support? The present simple, support, is used with the auxiliary verb, do, to ask a question, because support is an ordinary verb. Here, a state is being expressed. 6. I actually support two teams, Chelsea and Real Madrid. Support forms the present simple here, and it expresses a habitual action or state. 7. Oh, this word is an interjection and doesn't have any grammatical meaning. It just expresses surprise in this particular example. 8. I'm not sure, to be honest. The present simple, I'm not, I am not, is expressing his current state. 9. I just really love both of them. Love is an ordinary verb being used in the present simple, and it's describing a state. 10. Anyhow, have you got any plans for this weekend? The main auxiliary verb, have, is used to talk about the fixed future, this weekend, and it is also in the present simple. 11. I'm thinking of going to my local bar to see a football match. The present continuous, I'm thinking, is being used to describe a continuous action in the moment. 12. Don't mention it. This is an informal way of saying, you're welcome. 13. If I remember rightly, the game starts at 6 o'clock. The present simple, remember, is describing the future with a fixed date as 6 o'clock. Remember. We can use the present simple to talk about the future, but only when there's also a fixed date, i.e. Monday, Sunday, at 2 o'clock, etc.